I am going to discuss what how to install data spare on Windows operating system. So first here we need to install the Python. So in CMD, uh, I am going to show the Python that's already installed in my system. The version is this one. It can be different. Uh, then or uh, next to uh, here we need to download and install Anaconda. So for this one in Google search box. In Google search box right there, Anaconda, then you need to visit uh, this site, anaconda.com. And uh, after that, uh, here, you need to download the Anaconda, this place. So here, Windows symbol, you need to click on this download. So this is uh, downloading. So this I already have, so I'm not going to download once again, just canceling. And uh, now I'm going to show you the downloaded file so this is your downloaded file double clicking on this and click on this next I agree next next install so first we need to install an account the next here we need to download and to install the dashboard so for this one Right in there, data space. Click on this JetBrains site. Then this place you can use uh, here Windows DMG file, executable, and GZ file. So I'm going to use the Windows. So this, then after click on this download, and here data space file is now downloaded. So this I already downloaded. So no time to waste here. You can see this is now all data space. Downloaded file. Now waiting to complete the Anaconda. Here you can see the details. So Anaconda or 23 version is now uh, being installed. Installation complete. Click on this next. Next. And on checking this tools, click on finish. So Anaconda install. After that, going to install the data grab. So here you can see, sorry, data spell going to install. Double click on this data spell, executable file. Then after click on this next, next. So all taking this one, this is path. And this is for Python, IPython. Click on next and stop. So now here you can see the icon that's created for the data aspect. Space setup, so it's done here. I want to, so you can, if you want, then you can reboot or do it later. Let's click on this finish. Then after double click on this or data spell icon. So data spell. Then after don't do import setting, click on OK. And here you can see since uh, uh, Anaconda installed, so it's automatically it's taken. No need to keep. Automatically taken the Conda environment and automatically it's taken the executable file. So Conda.bat file that's automatically taken. So for so that you need to install the Conda first. And here or uh, you can also do with the virtual land system interpreter. So Conda that's fine. Then after click on this launch data spell. So this is so uh, launching. And uh, now or uh, this place here you can see. So this is the ID of the data spell. So now I'm going to run the Python code. So this place you can see Python console. Okay, and uh, here this is a Python console, and this is the database notification. So here, let's right click on this Python. And thereafter, I'm going to create one project. So here, then after click on this new project. So this place you can give any meaningful name. And there you can use here pure Python or package or project. So or you, we can also use there. So this the data spell that's mainly made for R and the pure Python. 
now let's click on this create this window so now this is creating the conda environment for this place so that we need to install conda first then after we can use the data pair, data spell this place so this is creating the conda environment and python 3.10 and oh, this is uh, 15 MB, it's so uh, doing the download. If Python 3.10 is there, that's fine. If not there, automatically it will or download. So, for this one, your or system must be connected with the internet service. Now, here you can see this is the status 80 100% uh, is going to complete now. So now you can see Python, then after verifying co executing transaction working. So it will only come, so it's done here. Now the next is this is the code here to print uh, hi and to uh, insert the name there PyCharms. So now I'm going to test the code here. You can see run, sale, and below and this is for run on python script so when i click on this run okay so here you can see hi pycharm it's a display or uh, we can write anything this place hi so like writing modifying this place how or you now control as to saves then after here click on this hi how are you it's a displaying this place so this is how we can here install data spell and after that running the python codes so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you